This is Duke University. Global trade and environmental Being justice. Human rights China issues today. are still. The term Ubuntu. A the Alien and Sedition Accident. He's making inferential discoveries. The importance of an archive. The John Ho Franklin Center. One, one of the most interesting things I've done of late in the last few years was I worked um, for the restoration of democracy in Haiti after the fall of uh, former President Aristide. That was, that was really an especially interesting um, experience because um, the U.S. Department of State and the U.S. Agency for International Development, along with the Department of Defense, worked very closely with um, representatives of virtually all of the other American republics on the ground in Haiti and um, under the auspices of uh, the United Nations and the Organization of American States to, um, uh, to establish voter registries and to, um, uh, to help an interim government mount a, a successful election for a new president um, and, and a new legislature and to do so under the most trying of circumstances. We had partners in, in, in country and on the ground from Brazil and Chile and Argentina, Peru, um, as well as a, a very robust uh, form of participation from uh, Canada. The European Union was um, extraordinarily supportive as well. And uh, for me, um, the experience on the ground in Haiti, um, working in the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, was one of my, uh, I think, richest experiences as um, I found myself working with um, uh, both foreign diplomats and civil servants and health professionals and military people, all working for a single purpose, all convinced that at the end of the day, a more democratic Haiti would also ultimately be a more prosperous Haiti and that that would be good for the whole hemisphere. Um, so it, it, it was, uh, I think for me, um, one of the most uh, uh, rewarding uh, professional experiences of my life as Amer an American diplomat. When I finished up my tour in uh, Venezuela, indeed as I was anticipating finishing the tour in Venezuela, um, I was asked what I wanted to do next. And um, one of those, uh, those, those functions that I've always thought would be especially engaging, especially interesting for me personally, would be to work as a diplomat in residence and to try and uh, um, bring the perspective of a practitioner um, to, to the academic community. Um, I think that, um, that a place like Duke University um, offers one of the most interesting uh, environments in, in which to, to seek out um, uh, representatives of the United States, new diplomats, and, um, uh, and that's, that's why we, we have diplomats in residence, and that's why we begin even um, uh, with undergraduates whom we encourage to uh, uh, apply for internships at the Department of State. And um, new graduates and, and, and staff, we encourage to take the Foreign Service test. Um, the, the demands of the 21st century are um, more complex and um, uh, more challenging than ever. And um, we need the kind of talent that we think we can find here. Talent representing um, the full range of, of the, uh, the American people and the, and the, and the American uh, academic world uh, uh, to help us abroad. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.